G'day guys, this is Captain Noob here, I'm back with another weapon showcase. So today we've got the MP40 mod which adds three MP40s. So the MP40 itself was a submachine gun developed by Nazi Germany in the times of World War II, so this thing's going to be quite law friendly. Now the weapon here, uh, the weapon mod here comes with three different MP40s for you to use. We'll go over them one at a time, doing separate videos on each. So this is the uh, standard MP40 here, we'll get into its attachments, and then we'll go shoot people with it. So, for the receivers, we can go all the way up to upgraded receiver. Powerful receiver is actually better than that, so I'm not sure what's the point of this upgraded receiver other than, you know, less accuracy and uh, better fire rate, so we'll definitely chuck a powerful receiver on it. And for a barrel, we've got a bunch of different barrels for us to choose from, which is really good. This sort of customizability is only seen sort of on a uh, handmade rifle, and according to the damage and everything else, this appears to be the best. So we'll chuck on the compensated hardened light barrel. That's a mouthful. And for the grip, we either get a grip or a stock, and we'll definitely chuck the stock on because we want to have some, some sort of thing to help us shoot more accurately, and that looks kind of cool with the stock there. And for the mag, we can either choose a standard or a drum mag, and we can get 64 rounds out of a drum mag, so why wouldn't we choose that, right? For the sights, we can either have a standard or a reflex sight. We'll chuck on the reflex sight for better aiming and all that stuff. Now we can actually choose between skins of this, so we can get the chrome skin, which looks pretty cool, standard, or the war-torn skin. So we'll chuck on the war-torn skin because we are two centuries after a great war. Why wouldn't it be war-torn a little bit after that? So we actually get to change the independent uh, zoom of the sights here, which I'm going to go 1.25 just for a slight zoom as we uh, go ahead and gun people down with it. We can change this from fully auto to semi-auto, which doesn't make a lot of sense because the MP40s back in World War II were only capable of shooting full auto due to their receiver design, so we'll just leave that as is. So we can get a single magwell or a double magwell for two mags, which is kind of strange. We'll just leave it on the single magwell for now. I'm not sure what sort of difference that makes. We've already got a drum in there anyway, so we should be nice and fine. And of course, we also get a legendary slot just to chuck in any legendary effects that we might find useful when this weapon's damage is a little bit too low. But that is the MP40 as how we're going to use it. Let's go shoot Gunners Plaza people now. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, take out the gunners like a stormtrooper would. Let's say what we could do with this. So, right off the bat, the rate of fire of this is going to be subpar to... Wow, what are you doing, gunner? But the recoil is nice and controllable, which means we'll be able to nail easy, easy headshots. And that mag size is going to help us with sustained fire and taking the more powerful gunners out. Because we'll definitely need all these extra bullets to take them out. So as you can tell there, this thing's got a custom reload animation which looks really, really slick. I'm always a good fan of well done reload animations that aren't completely over the top. Well, this thing doesn't feel like it's got any recoil at all. There's that reload animation once again. And we'll go ahead and take out these turrets nice and quickly now. Thing's got pretty good hip fire for what it is, which would sort of make sense. It's a short barreled SMG type weapon, so why wouldn't it be a little more accurate firing from the hip? We'll go ahead and shoot this gunner. They're a little bit bullet spongy against this thing, but, you know, later down the line we'll chuck on some legendary effects to this, and we'll definitely try to make this better. Or maybe we won't, we'll see how long it takes out, uh, it takes a kill spawn without the help of any legendary effects. So, pop a reload here. Go ahead and sneak. Yep, oh, so, okay, so it looks like the um, sprint animation is changed too, which looks really good. Probably wouldn't really work with the regular ones because you'd have to put your hand somewhere else. But there you go, you've got the grip under the barrel, not on the bag, which is probably a better idea as to not get your hands burnt by the hot barrel as this thing fires and it heats up. That's nice. Maybe it's the stock helping me out um, with, this, uh, with the um, stability of this weapon because right now it's super, super easy to keep on target. And while we aren't doing the most damage in the world against these gunners, we are certainly getting all the shots we can on them and killing them very quickly indeed. There we go. Just this one commander back here. A lieutenant, I should say. We'll go ahead and chuck this thing in VAT. There we go. So it's a pretty decent weapon in VAT's nice and generous with the AP times, but 
Not the most I've seen out of a submachine gun type weapon. I think the submachine gun from the vanilla game beats it just a little bit. Of course, you wanted it to sort of be good in VATS because sometimes you need it to just give you a little bit more defense when you're shooting at people and taking hits. But obviously, not this is not the case because we're getting through these gunners quite easily as I go through all my mag trying to take out those legendaries. There we go. Uh, this reflex sight, I think it might be a cross rather than just a little dot, so... It makes it a little bit hard to see, but whenever I put the crosshair over gunners, it turns into a square, which is a pretty good indicator of where I'm actually aim aiming. Excuse me. We'll go ahead and take out these turrets, and then we'll go ahead and move on to Swan and see what this thing can do. So, for a weapon against mobbing, I mean, it's going to be sort of law friendly in the fact that it's not going to be killing everything very easily. Sort of got the same power as a submachine gun, but a little bit more with a low rate of fire. We'll go ahead and move on to Swan now and see what this bad boy can do then. Alright, so the speed we'll be able to take out Swan with this weapon would be the speed that he goes into Texas. So hopefully this thing is nice and quiet so we can avoid his detection. So as you can tell there, the damage is really not that great. We're not doing a hell of a lot of damage to him. and it, It's understandable this thing's only firing 10mm pistol bullets, so, you know, we're not going to be shooting a lot of damage in anything, really. Quite struggled against Gunners Plaza, so how can we expect it to do well here? So what I might do is quickly head back to Weapons Workbench and chuck maybe the wounding effect onto this, just to see how well this functions with that. Alrighty, we'll try this again with the wounding effect, here we go. This time we've got a couple of uh, Rust Devils that he's trying to take out to uh, help us out with a little bit of damage here, so while he's standing there staring into space or whatever he's doing, we can go ahead and just hip fire him down from here, and the hip fire on this weapon is definitely good. Obviously I've got it augmented with the steady aim perk here, so obviously if you try to get this weapon yourself and you don't have this perk, your results may vary, but for the most part the uh, hip fire is going to be very very good indeed. So I don't know why his AI is locked up like that, but as you can tell here, the damage is going to be significantly better. Even though we're not getting uh, sneak attack crits uh, constantly, we're able, to, we're able to just keep on hitting him easily like this. And maybe if I back off just a little bit, we might be able to get some sneak attack crits, but why not try this thing just a little bit in bats, hey? We'll get nice and close to him as he's standing there doing god knows what. And we'll go shoot him in the head a little bit. So according to Vats, this would actually neutralize half of his health. Obviously, we know that Vats is wrong. So, as with all automatic firearms, you fire in three round bursts in Vats, so nothing around there. Maybe he's trying to eye off his ghoul or something. Maybe if we take that out. There he is. Come back here. We'll just crit it. Fuck it. There we go. Now that he's probably not going to be distracted him anymore. There we go. Now the fight's on. We won't be getting many sneak attack crits anyway, so this is probably not a whole lot of difference. Go ahead and shoot him. And as that hammer comes down, we're able to just quickly sprint away nice and easily. And we'll go ahead and keep shooting him with as many bullets as we can, stacking as much wounding damage as we possibly, possibly can. There we go. Just hitting him at every given opportunity, maybe down through here. Anything just to get a little bit of hit on him. Now, unfortunately for this weapon, it doesn't have a suppressor, which... Okay, there's a handy destroyer over there. Maybe he'll come along and Swan will get distracted on him. Maybe I need to find myself a little bit more of cover. Hey, mate. You want to go ahead and take on Swan? Or maybe I can use him as cover. Okay, this isn't right. This isn't going very well at all. So we'll go ahead and go into Nerd Rage here, and you can tell that our damage is so, so much better. Unfortunately, we had to reload there, but what I'm going to do now is just quickly reload in real time in VAT. And as you can tell, the uh, third person reload of this weapon is that of the, either the combat rifle or the SMG, so it's not the best looking animation in third person, but it doesn't really matter. You're not going to be viewing much of the reloads in third person that closely anyway. 
simply because it's mainly blocked by the playable character. So there we go, there goes Swan, and there goes that Mr. Handy that was being a thorn on my side, and that's it for the MP40. I'll try and get to the other MP40s today, just so we can cover this whole mod and all the weapons in it. So I hope you come and watch those too, so if you like this weapon, links will be in the description below, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys.